Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I wanted a snack and I also wanted something a little more hearty than a snack. And I love onion rings and I love cheeseburgers, so I decided to put them all in one and make these absolutely delicious onion ring cheeseburgers. It turned out fantastic. Let me show you how to make this and let's get started. Okay guys, we're going to kick things off here by adding a pound or half a kilo of lean ground beef to a bowl. To that I'm going to add in a teaspoon of minced garlic, a good tablespoon of ketchup, and you can use the ketchup of your choice, a good shot of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, but you know, this is somewhere in the neighborhood of about a tablespoon. I add this to everything, I just love it. A few drops of Tabasco just to bring out that heat. Some salt. And I'd say this is about oh, half a teaspoon or so. And my all-time favorite, as you know, some ground black pepper. This is my old standby recipe for any kind of uh, ground beef, but you can use what you like. Then I'm going to take my handy dandy wooden spoon and a mixing we will go. Just so everything's nicely combined. You can also switch to your hands too. And we'll just set this aside for a few minutes. Now I'm going to take a large size onion here, and this is just a white onion. You can use red, Spanish, whatever you like. And I'm going to cut this so I'd say into about half inch pieces. Just something like this. Then I'm going to take my onion and divide it up into rings. So what I've done here is chosen some of my best onion rings and the rest you can just make, you know, uh, fried onions with, put them in a salad, whatever you like. And I'm going to scoop up a good chunk of beef here and put it in the onion ring, just about like that. Then a couple of pieces of old cheddar. And of course, as always, you can use the cheese of your choice. Then scoop up another layer of beef and cover the cheese with it. You can add as much or as little as you like here. Alrighty then, I got my dredging station set up. So what I've got is a couple of beaten eggs, half a cup of all-purpose flour, and half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. I just love the Italian. So I'm going to grab up one of my onion rings and into the flour. Notice I'm wearing gloves. Things are going to get a little bit messy. And shake off any excess. And using the other hand into the egg mixture. Then into the breadcrumbs. And we want to make sure this is well coated. I know I got my hands a little bit mixed up here, but that's fine, as long as it coats. By the way guys, why did the onion run away? Because it made the people cry! <laughs> oh, it's corny, I know it's a dad joke, but it kind of makes you chuckle. And there you have it, so I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside on a plate. Okay, I've got my pan heated up here guys, so I'm going to add some canola oil in. And we're going to let this heat to about 350. And canola oil has a smoking point of 425 or 220 Celsius, so we should be good. And that's about a cup or two. Now the way I tell my oil is just about ready is to drop some breadcrumbs in or some flour and you can see it sizzle. So we're good to go. We're about 350 now, 375. And I'm going to add our rings in, in batches. And we're going to let these fry up until they're a beautiful golden brown and then flip them to the other side. After about four minutes on the other side, I can see the cheese is melting and coming through and they're 
a nice brown, so I'm just going to remove them and set them aside on a wire rack. Just look at this, guys. Yumpsters. And there you have it, guys. Our onion ring cheeseburgers. Just look at that ooey gooey cheese coming out. Mmm, -mm, so yummy. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we've got. Okay, guys, it's time for the taste test. So I'm just going to grab one of these up mm, and dip it in some chipotle mayo. You can use a spicy ketchup too if you want, just some, some kind of dipping sauce. And let's give this a try. Mm. This is really good. I love the texture of the beef, the spices in the beef. Mm. The cheese, the onion, just a dandy snack. Or a full meal for that matter. I'm gonna eat more. So good. Mm gotta make this. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of great recipes over there keep you busy all the time. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so, smash that sub button. See you next time, and stay safe.